Welcome everybody to Usual Mike Television Toy Showcase Channel. Today we're going to talk about star action figures in the UK and their letter to from their boss to the people. This was forwarded to me by Twitter user Mike Tate, better known on Twitter as Kenobi Darth, at Kenobi Darth. And it's an interesting read. Some of you may have seen it before or heard about it, but I'm going to read this letter in full and then put my remarks to it. This is my like a review about what they're saying. So here we go. It reads as follows. Hi everyone. It's been a busy month. So sorry for the lack of updates. After a trip to San Diego Comic Con and after 11,000 miles in the air and over 500 of California's freeways, don't know what's worse. We are now starting to see things happen. I don't, I know I keep promising it, but we will get into a regular supply of newsletters soon. Was the trip worth it? Absolutely. If nothing else, I have opened a can of worms and learned a lot more of how a Hasbro operate. I spoke to Hasbro on their stand at San Diego Comic Con and after managing to sneak into the show an hour early, long story, the meeting with Hasbro was better and longer than expected. Fair play to Hasbro. They were genuinely approachable, engaging and interested in what I had to say. The issue of the exclusive figures in the UK certainly got a big reaction, particularly the price. The low numbers, that are brought in. While we may never know what has gone before, whether it was just incompetence or something more sinister, what can I say? With some certainty, now the situation is being rectified. But as Hasbro were at pains to point out, don't expect an overnight solution. They worked six to 12 months in advance, so we should see things start to happen next year. But hopefully, late in 2018, early 2019, will see an end of scalping on a mass level in the UK. I have had feedback from a distributor and all I can say at the moment is a lot happened in the last month and this week we should finally get some confirmation that things are changing. Some of this was already in the pipeline but the visit to San Diego Comic Con certainly has kicked the whole thing on with some urgency and confirmed to Hasbro Inc what they didn't know in detail before last Wednesday that the UK market as a whole and in particular, collectible exclusives is on its knees. Please let me assure you all that they are now taking steps to rectify this situation. I have two meetings set up by the end of October. Both involve the powers that be at Hasbro. And hopefully a lot more will become clearer and be able to be made public soon. But all I can say is sit tight. I have my teeth into this issue now and won't let go and I will see it through for the good of the collecting community and of course, let's be honest, the good of star action figures. With regards all the repacks in assortments that kills distribution and has been slowly strangling the line to death, all I would do is refer you back to the rant I posted on Facebook and one or two fan sites earlier in the year. This rant was sent direct to Hasbro Inc. at the end of the last year and let's just say they listened even if they will not admit it, they listened. New assortments will no longer have repack after repack with only two or three new figures. Let's just see if they wait two or three clear assortments before reissuing any figure. And let's wait and see if Stormtroopers become more available more often. The only thing they haven't done that I disagree with is reissue the old figures in the regular line. Instead, relaunching a new archive line. They did explain the reason for this, but to be honest, it made no sense to me. And they contradicted themselves a lot with reasons why they don't do it. But at least we will see the older figures in updated packaging. And in the long term, I think this will make the blue and orange boxes more collectible. I think they like an excuse to launch new lines. But as I said to them, maybe getting the existing lines in order first would be the best bet. It was a friendly meeting, honest. But as I say, I promise to see this through and hopefully soon, if all goes to plan, exclusives will be regular price and available to everyone without having to resort to scalpers. Hasbro should start improving things in the regular way from 18 or 19, but we will probably sit back and see how they handle those first because after 15 years, one thing we have learnt is Hasbro UK don't know what they are releasing or when they are releasing it at the best of times and while firmly I believe things are going to improve it may be wise to make sure things are running smoothly and arriving on time. Before fully committing to new Hasbro if all goes well pricing in the UK should become a lot fairer 
than at present and supply and release dates should become a lot more ordered than it is currently. Well, so the gist of it is that internationally we're hurting. We, we can't get the figures we want. We resort to, like I do, buying them from China. Like, I should be able to go down to my shops and buy what I, I would like to buy from Star Wars, but I can't because we don't know what we're getting. We never know if it's going to turn up or not. It's, it's a guessing game. In the U US, you guys are like, oh, I can't get that Gamorrean guard. Oh, it's only over here. It's only over there. We don't see it at all. We've got one department store that used to sell Black Series, but don't stock it anymore. That's Big W. We never see a Black Series figure in there ever. Never. When? It just doesn't happen. In the UK, same deal. They didn't get any solo figures. Nothing from, nothing like these guys at all. Didn't even turn up Wave 1. And then they finally got Wave 1 and it's been months and months and months. And it's like indie stores or very small stores or a couple of stores in London. That doesn't do all of England. So for radical change that this guy has gone ahead to Hasbro to tell them, is a, is a major step. This won't just affect the UK. This will do worldwide. They'll, they'll wake up and say, hey, we, we shouldn't just look after the North American market. We've got millions of collectors around the globe. We need to look after them all. This guy. I, I would love to be looked after Hasbro. But, you know, trying to find your product is damn near impossible. So if people now will be able to know what's coming out, when it's coming out, where it's going to be. That's the main thing. Exclusives in the US don't exist outside the US unless you buy it from a scalper or someone who's charging sometimes $50 delivery for something that's 125 grams, you know. Oh yeah, put it in a steel box and send it to me apparently. $50 delivery? That's ridiculous. And then they mark it up two or three times as much as it's really worth. So in the States you'll have a force, force link figure and you're going, $7.95, I think, $7.99 you buy it, then they'll put it in onto eBay, make it round about minimum of $30 US dollars, and then slap 50 bucks on it. So as it said, early next year, things begin to change. We will watch this space to see how well they change, because as collectors, we need that change. We want to collect sets, a completist, you know, you want to co complete collection of things. The casual fan will go in and go, I want to buy that Luke Skywalker figure. There it is. Oh, they didn't get the one in the red packet, they get the one in the yellow packet. That's not going to work for real collectors who say, I need the four that come out in that wave. I need the five that come out in that wave. I need the one that's in that wave because the other five are repacks. Hmm. So they cut down all the repacks. That's good. They shorten up the waves now. Well, they they're not going to have four waves, they may have three waves. It'll be interesting, they'll probably start this uh, in 3.75 inch during episode 9. I think they may make three waves and have them 8 to 10 figures, maybe, maybe six figures each. I don't know how this is going to affect double packs. I don't know how it's going to affect the vehicles. I don't know how it's going to affect Black Series. But a change is needed and internationally we need it desperately. I know in the US you guys might not need it, but seriously, the rest of us struggle. We, we see things that you guys get excited about or look at on the shelf and, and go, ah, oh, I've seen it thousands of times. Who wants that? Um, we do. There's some things we never get sold in this country. We, I have the Takadonna 4 set, which I'll put a picture of there. I don't have the others because they're not sold in this country whatsoever. Not at all. You might be able to get them from an uh, online retailer, but I can't walk into a store and get it. I've got to pay some kind of shipping and handling just to own that figure. There is the Jetta Revolt. I would love to own. There's the Crate 4 pack. And now there's the Vandor on its way, the Solo one. And I can tell you right now, I won't see that in a store. If I want that, I'll have to buy it from the US and get charged $50 shipping to my door. That's how it is. So these important steps is what's now being taken by distributors in the UK to wake Hasbro up and say, hey, distribution is terrible. Help us. We, we want product. We want things to change. Our people are desperate for being able to collect things, but they just can't. Thank you today. My name is Usual Mike.
that's been my little insight and rant into Hasbro's difficulty in giving us product. You can follow me on Twitter at UsualMike30 or on Instagram at UsualMike Television. If you haven't done so already, hit subscribe. Tap that bell for notifications. If you enjoyed today's video, slap a like on it and share it with your friends. I'll see you guys next time. All the best.